Hello and welcome to this week's talk. What we're going to be doing is a completely new format for our talks where we are going to be doing much, much shorter talks so that they're easier to link to. And we're going to be doing them in a kind of a series so that instead of having a, a standard kind of 20 minute sermon, there will be three or four shorter films that make up a sermon. And this week we're going to be looking at Romans chapter 10. And uh, Romans 10 is just magnificent. It's something that I use all the time when I'm sharing the good news with people. And so I hope there'll be all sorts of good things that we can do when we look at this passage together. So here I am in Borough Gardens and uh, it's very, very lovely here. It's a lovely sunny day. I wish you could all be here with me. And uh, I've got my Bible, try to never be without that. And we're going to read through Romans chapter 10 and verses 5 to 15. For Moses writes about the righteousness that is based on the law, that the person who does the commandments shall live by them. But the righteousness based on faith says, do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified. And with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful news? How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Today, I'm really going to be focusing on verses 14 and 15 of the passage where Paul asks, four rhetorical questions. So we're gonna do four short films, one about each of those rhetorical questions and see what we can learn from them and how that can empower our evangelism and our ability to reach out to people in Christ's name. 